דוקטור יצחק דרימר, hello to you. So we would love to get a bit more understanding about the uniqueness, about the novelty of the understanding of the ultimate medicine. And uh, I think that there is one word. It's unique in the world, but also unique in Hebrew that will enable us to understand a bit more about the uniqueness of the method that you are bringing here and we are sitting here in the center of uh, Tel Aviv at the uh, Ultimate Medicine Center. Redel. What exactly does this word mean? Redel. So everything in the, on earth and universe are found in vibrational frequency. Everything. And if somebody else thinks differently, I would be happy to learn. In Hebrew, a frequency is tedel, and vibration is retet. Mm -hmm. So we took the two words, retet and tedel, vibrational frequency, to one, to redel. Redel has two meanings. One is vibrational frequency, and second, that the vibrational frequency energy and information through light that are actually probably penetrating our skulls to the third ventricle and actually bring us to life. That's the thing that brings us to life. Each person has his unique radial vibrational frequency, mm -hmm. which is also the human energetic cosmic signature. Each one has his own human energetic cosmic signature that brings them upon to be shown as, to be seen actually, as a human being with his own special characters. So the redder, the vibrational frequency, which is the information and light energy that brings them to life through our brain, is his unique appearance on earth not just his appearance, but also his behavior. That's like another word for soul? So that would be the scientific word for soul. Because each one has his own and each one will appear as his own. So it will be not just the way he would look, but also the way that he will behave. And you're saying that because you're a scientist, because you, you, you were learning so many years in the university, and now it's like it's another angle, another perspective of taking care of people that is being revealed right now. Exactly. So, so um, religion, the, any religion, didn't have any problem saying, listen guys, we have a soul. And science said, hey, keep me away from that. Don't want to hear this nonsense. We're afraid of this word, God, and the rest of it. But when you take, and when you put it in real perspective now, that human beings are being uh, brought to life through that specific light energy informational force which is your redder, which is your vibrational frequency, which is your human energetic cosmic signature. That's your signature. Here, it's not happening from your inside out. It's happening most likely from your outside in and then moves you and then creates your motion and creates your behavior creates your looks, creates your, actually brings your DNA into life in a very certain fashion that only you can receive that and only you, you can become who you are through that. That's the radio. So it's double meaning. One is vibrational frequency, retet and tedel, and the other one is human energetic cosmic signature that each one of us most likely uh, takes it through his head into the third ventricle and then there is a whole process that goes within it to become us. And this word redo that is coming from Hebrew, the, the, the language of the uh, Old Testament in the Kabbalah and the old knowledge that uh, influences all the world, this redo is something that each and everyone can feel like if I'm meeting someone a simple person, and I'm a simple person, I'm feeling kind of energy that he, he's reflecting. That is his riddle? 
the radar is actually the the light informational energy that penetrates your brain mm -hmm. and then being convert convert to or transform into biological energy biological energy which activates all your parts through your nervous system all your parts through your nervous system and gives you the force the life force to become a human being that's the energy that you feel from a human being it's a secondary energy actually in a sense so you feel his energy after it's being processed and given life it's very powerful energy and you feel in in a secondary way his own forces his own being his own power his own projection of its own radio that's what you feel and so how a uh, therapist people that are reading the book the new coming book and, and students and, and the doctors can uh, feel and um, grasp this riddle of people, this uh, energetic uh, signature of them. How can they penetrate or understand or, or feel? So the first thing to understand is, are you being riddled? Are you frequentized? Mm -hmm. And how close or how powerful are you frequentized? As far away you get from your own frequentization, mm -hmm. your radar, as secure you become. And your decisions become worse and worse and worse. As closer you are to your radar, to your main life-giving force, your human energetic cosmic signature, energy, cosmic signature, then the more powerful you become. So you can tell person to person where are they situated with their own radio. Are they very powerful? Are they sick? Are they quick decision making or are they lagging? Are they up in life in the a life pit or are they not? Are they rich or poor? Can they catch quick? Are they not? Are they seeing the environment in a different eyes than somebody else's environment? So as more you frequentize and you become one with your soul or human energetic cosmic signature is more powerful and, and potentialized you are as a human being. As farther away you get from there and you get less and less frequentized, you lose a lot of your power from the outside source to the inside source and then you cannot carry yourself. Strong enough, powerful enough in this very challenging world, Earth. So that's how you know. So the main point is when, when you become a doctor, when you become a treater, when you become a human being, it doesn't matter. You don't need to treat anybody. You need to know how to frequentize yourself. You need to be, no understand, you need to understand. When are you moving away from your radio? Where are you moving away from your forces, your life forces, and when you're close to them? What do you feel when you're far away from your, your radio? You feel sick, you feel pain, you feel lost. sick, you feel pain, you feel powerless, you feel lagging, you feel you're behind, you feel that you're responding to everything instead of creating everything. As more frequentized you are, as more adult you are, as more you're creating your world and the world of people around you to the positive, in a positive way. As less you are frequentized, you are being or manipulated or being affected by the environment and everybody around you very easily because you're not in your force, your full force and power. You don't have to be strong physically to do that. You need to be frequentized and everything around you will happen. But you know, many people, before they are having their quantum leap in life, they are feeling in fear, they are feeling that they don't want to go to the next stage, etc. They might think that they are feeling less synchronized than uh, they are, though it's for a good cause, it's for their next quantum leap. So what would you recommend in order to uh, avoid this feeling and to feel synchronized before the quantum leap, though you might feel that you are being stressed out, uh, out of fear? So when you are either in fear, either in pain, and either in sickness, and either in poor, mm -hmm. if you're poor, these are only indica indicators for you 
that you moved away from your radio. Mm -hmm. So it's, there are only indicators. You're not going to fight them and you're not going to do things that are supposed to kill them and get rid of them. You're supposed to understand that you uh, moved away, far away from your radio. And then you want to get close to it, back to it, and get help. Either somebody will help you from the outside or you help yourself to get frequentized and more readied and to become to your power and your forces then because when you are coming to your full potentialized radar, you are actually connected to the cosmos, to all the information and all the power in the world. So when you connect to all the information and the power in the world, you can do anything through these physical and laws that you're under, but you can do everything. So that's how you know if you're far or close. And we're sitting here as part of the uh, therapy center. And I can see here a lot of uh, uh, beds that are uh, synchronized here in this wonderful hall and room. So practically, how do you synchronize the people that are coming and they're feeling kind of physical or emotional ache? How does it work? So the word is frequentize, frequentize or lerader or synchronize. Frequentize is great. Frequentize is the word. And there are, plenty, there are about 12, 11 beds here. Mm -hmm. And patients with all conditions, it doesn't matter what conditions they have, if it's a mental condition, it's a physical condition, it's both, they get on the beds and they're getting frequentized. Once they're getting frequentized, they are coming closer to their real, real potentialized power. Potentialized power, mental and physical. And then they heal very quickly and then the decisions are becoming different and then the life and the environment becoming different because once you're focused as you said synchronized with yourself you become powerful disease fear pain and poorness are only the signs that you strain away you moved away from your own power from your own radio mm -hmm. your own human energetic cosmic signature is you moved away from it, it becomes diluted. It becomes diluted, becomes weak. Become weak, you signal it out, and people sense it, and the environment sense it, or, and, and that's exactly what you have been returned. Once you're getting frequentized, you become very powerful. People and animals and the environment and the cosmos feel that, and that's exactly what you're getting back into you. And this part, part of a, a putting the people back together close to themselves. How exactly it is being done throughout touching? What is the kind of touch screen that you're using here at the Dreamer Center? So it's, it's true, very specific, very mild specific contact on their body, everywhere in their body, very specialized areas in their body that can help them being frequentized again to their own frequentization power. And it's not with force, it's with a lot of power. It's power that uses energy and information and, and biological energy, true biological energy, and, and a human understanding and consciousness to direct them, to redirect them to their radio, <coughs> sorry, to their radio, to the frequentization. It takes a lot of time in order to re frequentize the person? So to frequentize a person, it takes very short time relatively, very short time. And people are getting improved from one session to another more and more and more. As more frequentized they become through the treatments, as more they control their life and their health becoming better and better and better. Does it hurt? It's very, very gentle. It's exactly how you touch a touch screen on a cell phone and that's exactly the type of a contact on the body. So it's, it's very nice, it's very gentle, it's very powerful. And how long would it take to a person that was uh, re touched by you to feel again that his riddle and him are close again? Now, as far away you are from your riddle, the more time it will take. But still, they'll feel it almost immediately. Because when you are not frequentized, then you have no idea that it's possible to frequentize you. you. When you have it done on you, you feel it immediately almost. 
and then you know something happened to you, you're not sure exactly what happened to you, but we, uh, we explain you actually what you're going through. And then you can put them together, your thoughts and your feelings through the truth. And people that are seeing this uh, episode of the new uh, course, the new chapter of the book, and they want to be frequentized by you, but they are not living close enough to this uh, uh, health center of you here in the center of Tel Aviv. This kind of uh, treatment can be done also throughout digital communication? Yes. You see, when you understand a little bit more about how, how we are transforming or in transmitting energy, you understand that distance is not a problem. So you can treat people from a distance. It's not a problem at all. They need to, be, they need to understand or be taught that it's possible, and then they can go through that. And we're doing that already. So the second step would be very easy. People that are seeing this chapter or this episode or this course, they just have to click to be part, to communicate, to be part of this uh, radar and ultimate medicine um, community that is being formed throughout these weeks and months. Absolutely. Dr. Yitzhak Dremel, I want to thank you very much for sharing this new and wonderful knowledge. Thank you. Thank you.